afternoon. Kelly's off. I'm Kathy Vara. And I'm Chuck Henry, and let's get right to it. Our top story at 4 o'clock, funeral services for the victims of a double murder. Both ceremonies were emotional farewells this afternoon, attended by hundreds of mourners. Out in Brentwood at Nicole Simpson's private service, many friends and family members embraced each other before entering a Catholic church that was filled to capacity. Meantime, Channel 4 News has learned that investigators are examining new key evidence that links O.J. Simpson to the crime. This, as Simpson's lawyer, calls on criminal defense experts for a second opinion about the killings. All this on a day when two funeral services served as the backdrop for an active murder investigation. Phil Schumann is standing by in Brentwood now and uh, has the latest. And uh, Phil, I guess you're outside Nicole's condominium, is that correct? That's correct, and no one knows who killed Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman outside this condo on Sunday night. No one knows why. We do know, of course, that it has caused an incredible amount of pain to all of those who knew them, and it has, of course, thrust O.J. Simpson, her ex-husband, into the media spotlight. He, one of the focuses of the investigation. All this is happening while earlier this morning, Nicole Brown Simpson was remembered at a church service not far from here. Under a hot morning sun, they gathered at St. Martin of Tours Church in Brentwood to mourn to remember Nicole Brown Simpson. Hundreds of mourners arrived. They walked into the church grounds on foot. They drove in in private cars. They came in limousines. O.J. Simpson's former attorney, Howard Weitzman, his current attorney, Bob Shapiro, former footballer, Bob Chandler, among many, all greeted by O.J. Simpson's close, close friend and former teammate, Al Cowlings. It was such a crowded scene, L.A. City traffic officers had to come in to control access from Sunset Boulevard. And then, a moment seemingly frozen in time, the hearse arrived with the funeral procession. Out of the back of one of the limousines, the two small Simpson children followed by O.J. Simpson himself, the mourning ex-husband, the grieving father, the focus of a murder investigation. He went into church holding hands with his children and family members. It was a private one-hour ceremony. As the program states, in loving memory of Nicole Brown Simpson, it included a poem by Alfred Tennyson, Crossing the Bar, it was called, Sunset and Evening Star, it began, and one clear call for me. And may there be no moaning of the bar when I put out to sea. When the ceremony was over, family members and close friends left the church quickly, choosing not to talk with reporters about the service. Howard Weitzman, for example, not talking as he lived with his wife, escorted by a Los Angeles police officer. Others hugged outside the church, embraced, again, Simpson friend Al Cowling seemingly in charge, OJ himself with dark sunglasses on, again with his children. He spoke briefly to the priest. Moments later, with presidential-like security guards jogging by the side of his limo, the funeral procession sped off to the cemetery.